velocity vectors. Velocity is speed with direction. And that's what makes it a vector. The magnitude of the velocity vector equals the speed. Let's take an example. Let's say you have a jet airplane. And let's say that it's going at an angle of 45 degrees. And it's 200 meters per second speed. And let's give it some uh, rocket power in the back since it's moving at a pretty good clip. And we want to know, or more specifically, there's a farmer on the ground. Farmers are great observers. And the farmer is watching the shadow of this plane move. And he's wondering how fast is this shadow moving? And since we know a little bit about vectors, we know that we're talking about the horizontal component of this airplane. Let's draw our full triangle here. Ah, let me do a little better job of a 45 degree angle. So the angle is 40 five degrees and the hypotenuse that is the magnitude of this vector is 200 meters per second so we want to know how fast is the shadow moving in other words what is the x component of this velocity vector we can use the fact that cosine of an angle in this case 45 degrees equals the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse which is 200 meters per second. Now let's isolate for the x component of velocity so we will multiply both sides by 200 meters per second Remember, what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation. If you slap one cheek, slap the other cheek. And here, the 200 meters per second cancel. And I also know that cosine of 45 degrees is 1 over square root of 2. So 200 meters per second multiplied by 1 over square root of 2 is equal to 141 meters per second. And therefore, since this side is just the x component, I know that the shadow the farmer sees is moving at 141 meters per second.